Good day to all. This is our first part for the discussions of strategic uses of information systems. If we say strategic, we actually mean that it is for the long term. So this will tackle about long term uses of information systems. Here are our learning objectives. We have to explain what business strategy and strategic moves are then illustrate how IS can give businesses a competitive advantage. How can we become advantageous compared with others? We identify basic initiatives for gaining a competitive advantage and explain what makes an information system a strategic information system. So we want the long-term perspective then. Then what are the fundamental requirements for developing strategic IS? Finally, explain circumstances and initiatives that make one IT strategy succeed and another fail. So it's possible that even if we have the IT or the IT strategy already in place, we can succeed and we can fail. Here are our terms that we have to know, strategy and strategic moves. Strategy means a framework or approach to obtaining an advantageous position. So normally, if we say strategic, that is long-term. Business strategy is a plan or an action in which we can outperform our competitors. Then this would involve creating new opportunities in that we can present something new to the market and then not necessarily that we are going to beat our rivals or competitors. What is more important is that IS may be built to solve a problem or to seize an opportunity. So there is already a problem in the market that we would like to solve or there is an opportunity pertaining to that problem that we can cater to or a need that we can respond to. Now, to continue, we have IS that is, again, for long-term, the action that we can do strategically speaking. Then strategic advantage is that strategy that would maximize our company's strengths to be ahead of the others. Then competitive advantage is having maximized an organization's strengths to beat its rivals. And we also have competitive advantage. So again, that is what we have said, that we can be at least in the same market and then we can be ahead of the others. We also make use of the web strategically, and then that would make us or can become advantageous in our end. Although simply extending business to the web is no longer a strategic advantage. So that is one thing that we should take note. Now, this is a very important consideration that we would be looking into the impact of competitive advantage. So, Then, if we are able to increase our profit, I mean, and then that is also going to translate to increased market share, then that is something that competitive advantage is very important for. Then many initiatives can be used to gain competitive advantage. So this is also one thing that is very important. Another important thing to take note is that strategic moves often combine two or more initiatives. So this can also be done. And the essence of strategy is innovation. If we are going to develop something new, so that's what we would like to incorporate in our strategy. Now, here are our competitive advantages that we can achieve or gain by doing the initiative. So the initiative on the first column will provide us the benefit. So example, if we can reduce the cost, so what we will gain then is that, remember that would increase our profits, correct? And then with lesser costs, so we can also have lesser selling price with the same margin, or we can increase our margin then to have the same price, but with more units sold for the lower price. So in that case, we can also provide our quality, the same with the lower price. Now, another one is raise barriers to market entrance. So if there is somebody new to the 
market, then we can have some sort of barrier set together with our competitors so that they cannot easily get in to the industry. Then that would deter potential entrance into the market, enjoying less competition and more market potential. Next is establish high switching costs. So in this case, this would make it economically infeasible for customers to buy from competitors, or it would be challenging for them to buy from others. Next is create new products or services because if there is something new, especially for established companies, so it would be easier for the others to buy from us. Like For example, new models of cell phones or gadgets from Apple products. So in that case, people would be buying because there is something new. Next is differentiate or differentiated products or services. If there are a lot of options, then that would increase sales to the company. And then if there are features different from our products with the others, so that would be something that we can present as a core or a value or a core value or something different from the others. Then enhance products or services. We can also gain advantage if our product it has this, I mean, say, other set of features than the others. So if, for example, we have like products as in relation to enhance. So if we say differentiate, remember we have various sets of features that are of course different from the others that we can consider as competitive advantage. Enhance is of course, if there are some already existing values there or features there, we can also develop. Then establish alliances. So we can also create a network with our related businesses in the field. So example, if let's say we have a vacation package. So in a vacation package, there could be several people and several institutions that could be part of such like the hotel or the accommodation and then different would be for the airline ticket, different would be for the different resorts or different areas that the certain traveler or tourist can go into. So it's like a package that forms part of the product. And of course, we are talking here about different sets of companies like the hotel, the airline industry or business, and of course, the transportation like the taxi cab and the van. So those are different companies. Then they form alliances. That's also one thing that we can take note. And lock-in suppliers or buyers is that a company can gain advantage if it can lock in either suppliers or buyers, making it economically impractical for suppliers or buyers to deal with competitors. So we have a contract that you should buy from us. And if you choose to violate that, then you'll be breaching a contract and there could be some penalties along the way, making it impractical, economically speaking. So we're talking here about the money or financial matters to go with the competitors. So those are our competitive advantages that we obtained out of the initiatives. And then many strategic moves can work together to achieve a competitive advantage as you see in this figure 2-2. So this is the firm. And then here are our initiatives. Now for reduced cost, as we said a while ago, we have already the advantages being mentioned. We just have to pick out, by the way, something new. So in this case, web can automate customer service activities. That's also one thing that can help us to minimize the cost of marketing, the cost of order, for example, because there's only the online platform now that can help us with the recording or registering of such. So it has been noted that those who first adopted the advanced systems can reduce labor, therefore reducing labor costs, therefore reducing overall cost of the products. Next is for this one, we have said already about the barrier. So less competition would be better. We can see this from telecommunications companies and the giant networks of the companies because it's not that easy to put up or raise capital to begin with. In addition to the 
application requirements or permits that should be furnished later on. So that's why we have the barriers like the legal protection of intellectual property. So in that case, that would also make impossible for the others to make use of that particular intellectual property or IP. Next is we also have to build unmatchable information systems for this barrier. So these information systems are not available for anybody else, or it can be that this is sold by one company to be used solely to those entities to whom such is having contract with. So rivals must do likewise or license the technology. Then high switching costs, as being mentioned a while ago, that there are expenses incurred when customer stops buying from one company and starts buying from another. In other words, like charges or penalties, in that case, that's part of the contract, especially for early termination of contract because it is like violation all already. That's the explicit. Implicit could be indirect cost over a period of time. So in that case, should we switch from buying with one company to another? So we will be implementing new products. We will retrain our staff. Then also in terms of the software that we are going to, use since that would involve perhaps another software to use, especially for the so-called EDI, electronic data interchange, wherein that is a system that the partners like the company and the suppliers or the company and the sellers or vendors are actually having the contracts that they are going to be able to spot certain information, especially about inventory so that the seller can deliver immediately. So in that case, certain softwares may be required that is required by the supplier. Then this is something that we know about. So new, fresh, attractive, innovative products can be an advantage of the company over the others, especially if you are the first mover, like we are introducing this for the first time with our superior brand name, better technology, more experience or critical mass. The critical mass is that this is the body of clients that is large enough to attract other clients. So this is like our core or target market. So usually if the target market buys the new products with the Apple's iPhone, so others could be asking from them that, what are the new features? What are the advantages about such products? So they can be attracted as well. Then this eBay, the website, for example, that we can do the retailing online or e-commerce or that is business done online, buy and sell. Now, for also, we have to take note that being a first mover is not a guarantee of long-term success. So some actually initiated, but in the long run or long term, they were not able to pursue or continue since improvement and innovation is continuous, Kaizen concept in management. Then product differentiation is something that we have known in marketing and management subjects. So we have to push, persuade our customers that our products are better than the others. How do we do such? By advertising and customer experience, by brand name success, and promotion of the brand name relation to advertising. So example of that would be Skype and YouTube. So they promote different, they promote certain platforms unique from the others. Then, yeah, this is YouTube as an example wherein we can view videos. This is also another example, Google, which is differentiated being a search engine and containing a database and repository of a lot of websites or web pages and all. Then after this, we have initiative number six, enhancement of existing products or services that is to increase value. Again, innovation, improvement is part of this one. Like, of course, we have used the web or there are web pages that we can make use of for our company and we continuously improve that. Then we have here example of Progressive. So this is a certain company that uses innovative IT to enhance its services and maintain a competitive advantage in the auto insurance industry. So using now the internet. Then alliances are two companies combining services. As mentioned a while ago, like the hotel, reservation plus the airline ticket plus the transportation combined into one to have better customer experience. So, that's also, so this makes product more attractive, reduces cost, and provides one-stop shopping. 
This is very important, the last item, one-stop shopping because by just doing the reservation of a hotel, the airline ticket, the transportation is already part of the package, including our tourist destinations and all. Next, in an affiliate program, there is a linkage or this links or there is a linking to other companies and rewarding the linker for click throughs. So there is like a sort of reward or rewards for the link. And then normally costs would be minimized because that's part of the package already. Also to entice the customers. Then here's an example of establishing alliances. So before the strategic alliance, if for example, we would like to go to a vacation, so we would be doing these transactions separately. So airline reservation, the floral shop, telephone carrier, car rental, hotel and restaurant. Now, if we have the strategic alliance, so this would form part of the vacation package and the cost is lower again. If you can notice, we keep on mentioning cost because that's the point of doing competitive advantages in volume or in different companies or different members of the alliances into one or one alliance. Next is to lock in suppliers or buyers. So in this case, we said that also in addition to switching costs, we can do this so that their respective decision-making will be based upon loyalty and patronage to us. So they would not be going into others or other companies or suppliers since they would be paying high switching costs, for example. And with that, we can accomplish or achieve bargaining power in which bargaining power as defined is the leverage to influence buyers and suppliers. So this is achieved by being major competitor or eliminating competitors. And this uses purchase volume as leverage over suppliers. In addition, if you lock in clients, so we give away a product to make it become a standard. So in that case, for example, for acquisition of Microsoft products, so there is already the search engine, which is Internet Explorer. For Adobe's products, so the Acrobat Reader and the Macromedia's Flash Player. Then... If you create a physical or software limitation and using the technology, like for example, for the computer of Apple or their products like iPad, their products also involving laptops. So we have to take note that the apps that we are going to use will be coming from Apple. So in that case, that would also prevent our buyers or customers from buying with other suppliers or possible suppliers. All right, so this is our first part of our discussion. So hopefully you learned something from this session. Thank you very much and God bless.